I'm warning you now, Colby did not film nearly as much as he could have, but I'm giving him credit because he went out on a limb, grabbed his own camera, and decided he was going to film for me because I had to work all weekend. That is what makes Colby the homie. So blessed to have him around since I was like 15. A lot of this wouldn't be possible without him. We'll go over his car at some point, but this is the video that he got for us, so we're gonna use it. We will see you guys next week. Damn! We agreed that I will never buy another Audi, and if I do, it's gonna stay stock. Uh, this definitely sucks. What's up, horsepower and pizza? It's Colby. Bailey is actually working all weekend, so I'm gonna help him out this weekend and record a video for him. Yeah, so this is the weekend we're doing the bags on the Audi, man. So uh, I'll show you. I got all that ran. Sorry, I don't have a Bailey's camera. I got all this done up for the fuses and power and everything and it ran through reached out through there running it up through don't mind the mess in the back seat ran it up through and then everything's going to be back here i ran it in through there i'll just have to now cut these wires because that's for that was set up for the manual management that I originally had and I got 3P management so it's got to cut that and I will update you when that's done. I got the wires cut, redid them. Sorry the tape kind of looks like shit. I'm not good at that. Just want to say disclaimer in this video I am not doing a trunk setup just yet. Um, the tank I ordered isn't the tank that I actually wanted, so I'm going to order a new tank and I'm going to order some um, bulkheads so I can make it the airlines coming in and out of the car look really clean rather than just running them out the bottom and everything. And it'll be hidden better. Just getting along. Sorry, I suck at this, by the way. Last time I updated the vlog, uh, I had all the wiring done and I was jacking the car up. Brenda came over, you know, jacked the car up, was starting to get ready to do the front. Went to go take the control arms out to remove the front strut and I snapped the bolt the bolt head off so we're on our way over to Brendan's he's got a lift he's got a plethora of tools that will be able to help with that and extra bolts and everything so while he's doing that I'll try and knock out the other one do the airlines and do the rears it won't be done today we'll definitely have to update tomorrow yeah, one side in I'm gonna have to get a new one of these unfortunately these would not come out so and we tried everything we could but it just wasn't coming off airline down in here i'm in the process of running it once we can lift the car back up brendan's over here just cranking away at this i mean yes sir he obviously knows what he's doing i don't try to get there definitely suck how pretty much they lay out the whole suspension it's miserable it's definitely not working on 92 Nissan. What's going on, guys? It's a new day. I left around at 8 o'clock. Uh, I was just beat. I didn't get enough sleep the night before. I asked Brendan if it was cool if I left, and he was like, yeah, bro, that's not a problem at all. Brendan got the last rear bag in on the driver's side. All the bags are in now. They're all in. I'm starting to run the airlines. I ordered a new knuckle and control arms. Hopefully next week. They're in. We beat the absolute shit out of it with an air hammer and everything, and it didn't pop out at all. So I'm not too worried, but you never know. Things happen. Just need to put the battery on. All the airlines are ran. Brendan is back here, plugged everything in. Got the lines all plugged in. We're just gonna we're just gonna double check. We're gonna start the car, make sure everything's tight, make sure there's no air leaks, and then we'll put the wheels on. And double check. Fuse that we tapped into, that I tapped into, not we, that I tapped into, uh, is always hot when when the battery's plugged in. So they're back there making fun of me. It is what it is at this point. Can't figure out nothing. We'll figure it out. All right, so we pulled the car out. You guys ready to see it? Boom. We got Tanner over here. Look at him airing up. Everyone bags. You, do, baby. you get bags. You get bags. You get bags. Race car. Race cars don't get bags. A little fitment check at the front. In the rears. It obviously needs an alignment. 
big time, but you know. Special thanks to this man right here. It wouldn't have gotten done without him. Here. His knowledge, his tools, his lift. Yes, him pretty much doing everything and me doing half of everything. Finally got the bags on. Now the trunk I gotta do myself. This is just part one of this. Bailey asked me to just do like a part one, so part one is doing the bags. And then part two is actually getting the uh, trunk done. Overall, car drives amazing. It honestly drives better at higher speeds with this suspension and these wheels on than it did with the stock suspension. I couldn't be happier with it. I was super nervous. I get super nervous every time I do anything to my cars. I don't know why. I wasn't nervous this time. I want to quickly say um, thank you to Brendan, especially. Uh, my girlfriend, just for supporting me. Uh, Tanner, for coming out, helping out. Uh, Jacoby, let me borrow his tools. Carson, for letting me borrow his tools and picking the wheels and tires up for me. And everyone that helped. I mean, Bailey, for giving me the opportunity. I'm trying to say something, but... I'm over here trying to say something. You're over here trying to interrupt me. Okay. If the vlog doesn't know, that's my girlfriend Morgan. And she owns that car back there. You can kind of see, but oh well. 